friends, it's Margaret, and I'm here to nerd out about books. So today I am going to be giving you my February TBR. I promise I have some reviews coming for you guys really, really soon. Like, I'm going to focus on one book and talk about that one book. I just wanted to get my February TBR done because that was kind of pressing, and February is like three days away at this point. I don't know where it is when I, I'm going to be putting this video up, but it's three, it's like five days away where I am right where we're filming right now. For the first part of February, I am going to be participating in the Cozy-a-thon. It's from February 1st to February 15th, and it's hosted by Sylvia K. The basic idea behind Cozy-a-thon is just to read books and to read them at whatever pace feels comfortable for you. She does have a list of challenges and some different information, so I will go ahead and link to her video. Make sure you guys check that out as well. As far as Cozy-a-thon goes, I'm going to be doing some of the book challenges and some of the date challenges couple of the date challenges just aren't realistic because they involve foods that Margaret can't do, so we'll just have to not do the one where you eat chocolate while eating a book. But I am definitely going to be participating in number one, coffee or tea date, where you go to a coffee shop and you read a book there. Number five, walk date, which is where you're listening to an audiobook while you're taking a walk. Number seven, stay at home date, where you just curl up under a blanket and read a book. That's my normal reading posture, so not gonna be hard. Number eight, Cinderella date, read till midnight. That one's gonna be a little bit of a challenge because my bedtime. I am secretly an 80 year old woman, so we'll see if I can make it till midnight. I'm also going to be doing a few of the book, um, a few of the book challenges. Not all of them, but some of my TBR is kind of tailored to that. The first book that I'm gonna talk about is one that I took from January and I'm putting it on February because I already had a book for my shelves on my January TBR, also known as Six of Crows, also known as my favorite book of January, although Crooked Kingdom might top that because I haven't finished it yet, but I have absolutely loved every moment of them so far. Anyways, I realized that if I was going to finish reading the Embassy Row series, it'd been so long that I just needed to start from the beginning. So I will be reading All Fall Down by Ally Carter and See How They Run by Ally Carter. Now, this one I am going to be listening to as an audiobook. Maybe it's the one I'll use for my audiobook challenge. I don't know. Um, and then this one I will read as the hardcover book because my library doesn't have it on their audiobook app which is disappointing, but also I bought this, so I should read it. These both could technically count for challenge number nine, which is to read something with red on the cover, um, because they both have red on the cover. These are about Grace Blakely. She is the granddaughter of a U.S. ambassador. <gasps> I haven't taken the sticker off of this one yet. Bad Margaret. I'm gonna have to fix that. She is dealing with the murder of her mother that happened many, many years ago, but, but she knows that things are not quite right and not everything happened the way people are saying that it happened. So she's kind of digging into that and trying to get more answers about what happened to her mom. The next two books both could count for challenge number 11, which is read a book about a relationship or love, and they are The Kiss of Deception and Frostbite, the second book in the Vampire Academy series. I'm not entirely sure what this is about, just it was recommended by a booktuber I really like, so I decided I would pick it up and I have to read this before the 13th because I cannot renew it from the library any longer. It sounds absolutely fascinating. It's like she's basically in an arranged marriage and then the day of the wedding she kind of runs off and the prince decides to hunt her down and I'm expecting some epic romance of some sort considering that the word kiss is in the title. And I have Frostbite which is the second novel in the Vampire Academy series. I absolutely love Vampire Academy. Like I, I don't know that was one of the best book to movie adaptations and you wouldn't think like having watched the movie I thought it was I wasn't sure if it was going to be any good compared to the book but they did such a good job on that I was really surprised like they did they did a better job on that than they did on Twilight guys um they just did such a great job of perfectly capturing the atmosphere and the characters and I think they hit all the major plot points so I was really really happy now I haven't re-watched the movie since I've read the book so I might I might be wrong a, a little off but it was really good, and so I'm really, really looking forward to getting into the rest of the series, so I was going to start that with Frostbite. I'm also going to be doing challenge number 12, which is to watch a Disney adaptation of a movie and then read a book that is a retelling of that story, and I picked Ella Enchanted because I was doing pictures for my bookstagram, and I pulled this out, and... I realized I hadn't read it in a long time and I really wanted to reread it. So I decided that this was a perfect month to reread it because, hey, it's February, the month of love, and Cinderella is one of the most enduring romances there are. Now, I might cheat a little 
with this challenge because like I will either watch the new live action version of Cinderella because I'm pretty sure that's on Netflix or I might unearth my copy of Ever After because it's sitting down on our DVD shelf somewhere and I really really want to watch that also so I might I might just have a Cinderella marathon guys that could be fun those are the challenges that I will be doing with the for the cozy -a -thon. that's gonna be a good portion of my books this month obviously I have some that are doubled up so it won't really like I can push the doubles to the rest of the month so those are five of the books that I'm gonna try and get through this month one of the ones that I'm definitely going to be getting through this month is Batman Nightwalker not Nightcrawler, Margaret, Nightwalker. I said it wrong in my video of my unboxing. I got this in the Lit Joy crate for January. I went out and bought it because it was Batman themed and uh, Batman, of course Margaret's gonna buy it. I will put a link to that so that you guys can check it out and see all of the fun goodies that I got in that box. I, that was the perfect box for me to have my first unboxing. But I have been looking forward to this. I absolutely loved Warcross, so I have great faith in Marie Lu to really do Bruce's story justice. I know I can't wait and I'm definitely definitely looking forward to Catwoman Soul Stealer when it comes out in August. It would not be a month reading if Margaret was not going to read some comic books. I am actually a little behind on my January TBR, so I might have to read some of the ones that are the comic books on my January TBR in February, but so I, I didn't like add a whole bunch of comics, although I do have some that I just got from the library that I really want to read. Uh, one of them is the next volume of Wonder Woman, but I have gotten into, I love the iZombie TV show, so I decided to check out the comics, and so I have read the first volume. It's a little different than the TV show, but still very good. So I have the next three volumes of iZombie, which I would very much like to get through in February, once again, because they need to go back to the library. And those are Volume 2, You Vampire, Volume 3, Six Feet Under and Rising, and Volume 4, Repossession. So those are all of the books that I'm hoping to, like, seriously focus on getting to in February. And then... Because, again, Margaret's an overachiever, if I have time, I'm going to try and get to Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. I know Escaping from Houdini is coming out later this year, so I'd very, very much like to get through books one and two before that gets out there. But if I don't get to this in February, I don't mind pushing it to March because I'm trying to be a little more manageable in my reading expectations. So I feel like six real books and then a few comic books is reasonable. So anyways, that is my TBR for February. Don't forget to look in the description box and check out Sylvia Kay's cozy -a -thon announcement. It looks really, really fun. I like the idea of not being pressured to read a whole bunch of books in a short amount of time. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I make bookish videos at least three times a month. I am doing my best to get on a Tuesday upload schedule. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know what you're gonna be reading in February. Let me know if you've read any of the books that I just mentioned. Let me know what you think of the iZombie comic books versus the TV show. Do you prefer one of the, over the other? I'm very, ha having di dived, dove, having dove into this, I am very interested to see what other fans think of that because I absolutely love the TV show, but I'm really liking the comics as well. So it's like, what do you do? That's it for now, folks. I will see you later when we will talk about more wordy, nerdy things. Bye! Bye!